Hi, I'm Rachel with Angler's Habitat. You can reach us at www.anglershabitat.com. Today I'm here with Mark from um, Ashton, Idaho. He is a um, Galvin fly reel rep and he's going to talk to us today a little bit about the different um, Galvin fly reels, how to change the retrieve, um, what what reel is for what, and the different colors and so on. And so. Um, I'm going to be asking him questions and he's going to be answering and hopefully I don't leave anything out. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, um, what can you tell us about the Galvin trout reels? Well, maybe we should talk about the company a little bit. Okay. Um, Galvin has been uh, producing handmade fly reels for 20 years. Bonnie and Carmen Galvin are the owners and uh, uh, Bonnie is in charge of all the production and then Carmen does all the office and uh, uh, booking kind of uh, projects. And uh, actually their whole family works in the uh, machine shop and or in the offices to produce and ship the product. And it's a great little family company. Everything's made in the US. Um, and Bonnie was a, a master machinist in the aerospace industry who liked to fly fish. So. Um, once he started looking at some of the reels that were on the market in those days, he decided that he could make a better mousetrap. <laughs> so he's been producing uh, the reels for the last 20 years. Um, we start with all solid uh, aluminum bar stock, 6061 um, alu uh, aircraft grade aluminum. And they start out in chunks about, you know, depending on the reel size. And then they actually machine all the pieces out. So in the, the, oops, in the rush, for instance, um, nice thing is this has a real quick release, push the button, and you can take the spool right off to, so you can interchange spool. All the reels uh, that we sh have shown here, you can buy additional spools, so if somebody wants to use a, a sinking line and a uh, you know, a weight forward type floating line, then they can interchange the spools. Much easier. Yeah, much easier. But you can see here, this is all uh, machined out of one solid piece of aluminum, and then this is an additional piece mm -hmm. that's machined out. And in case of the, in the case of the spoke, it actually becomes three pieces. So the spoke part is a complete separate piece, the spool, and then the back. So you have, actually this is almost like making a reel plus a spool with by doing the spoke. But it gives us a real beautiful finished product. Uh, the spokes are more of an heirloom kind of piece where we do them for trout only, so they're smaller reels. Uh, very lightweight. We've machined every single possible piece. Uh, we use the wide uh, spool so you can get a lot of line, very quick retrieve and um, that's the, actually the same throughout the line. Um, we have, uh, we use a PEV uh, material that is uh, again an aerospace material. This is non-corrosive, uh, so you don't have to worry about salt uh, or using it in fresh water, salt water, that kind of thing. It's a friction drag, so as you tighten the, the large easy adjust drag system on the outside here, then it allows you to fine tune it, especially playing a trout. You can really mm -hmm. dial it in. Um, we were lucky enough to go to Christmas Island in uh, January and I used the 8 and 10 uh, torque there and just had tremendous uh, performance with uh, bonefish and, and uh, trevally. Okay. So and the spokes um, you see here, they're silver and blue. What other colors? Does we it actually do it in this green also. So we have a, a black body with a, a green spoke on the inside. And then um, in our torque, which is our most popular reel, this is ultra lightweight. Um, you can see how it's beveled on the side here so it uh, lines your line up mm -hmm. as you're retrieving. Um, but again, we have basically taken out any and all excess material to give you an ultralight uh, reel with great balance to your rod. And the torque is available in the green, the bronze, the silver, and or black. Okay. One other thing I'd like to point out about the Galvin reels. Um, when you do take the spool off, 
the button on this side here, it actually protrudes out, so it's easier for people who have bigger fingers to push that button to get it off. Other reels have a button that is recessed in, so it's kind of hard to get your finger in there to get it off. That's one of the things I really like about removing the um, spool off of a galvan reel. And then I um, see that they've not necessarily revised, but made a new um, rush reel. Do you want to talk about that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, we, we discontinued a real popular model that we've had for several <coughs> years called the open back. So we incorporated that. Bonnie decided she was playing around in the shop one day and decided to take the open back feature, which you can see here is a real simple three spoke back, and then add it to the large arbor reel of the rush. So it kind of gives us an open back uh, for those fans out there, the open back and the torque uh, for a good workhorse type everyday reel. I have a lot of guides that buy this reel because it's so bomb proof, you know, banging around in the boat, that kind of thing. So um, that is the new Rush Light. The regular Rush, um, again, here we've done. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, machined out to give it a, a certainly a much lighter weight feel <clears throat> and maybe while we've got this one open it's a good idea to show but there's a little keeper clip in here you remove that clip flip this lever over put the clip back and that's all you have to do to change it from left to right so really simple and easy to do and you can do that with all of galvan all of the galvan reels uh, are identical in that regard and we do, the only thing that's different in the drag systems is because the torques are primarily targeted to trout, they have a little smaller drag area surface here. Um, and then up into the blue water, uh, like this big T14 here, I would say this looks like a trike wheel, but uh, the T14, which is the, the Blue Water series for the big uh, sailfish and Dorado, that kind of thing, we actually use a stainless steel plate here. And this, for the spay casters also, you can add up to two ounces. We uh, make these available, but each uh, like a, looks like a big washer. Uh, each one weighs a, uh, an ounce, and you can add up to two to balance this out because these are so lightweight. Um, We've added that extra weight cap capability to balance your rod out. Now this this reel is only one that's available in blue, correct? Yes, that that uh, what we call the uh, the uh, tournament series is only available in the blue color. Okay. I mean, is the only reel that is available in blue. But what other colors? It does come in black also. Oh, okay. So. And then what about Galvin's warranty? What kind of warranty does Galvin um, have? Galvin has a lifetime warranty on uh, materials and workmanship. So um, if for some reason you have a failure of any kind, you can return it to Galvin and they will repair it and return it back to you. Repair it or replace it, it's up to them, depending on what the particular problem was. If somebody's dropped it or run over it or something like that, then that's a little different case. But um, if it's general wear and tear, they can uh, refurbish it. So it's a great little company, um, all American made. And uh, geez, I've got a Galvin that's 15 years old that's just, it looks like it's brand new um, and works like it's brand new. I've had other reels, uh, particularly when you're fishing in the salt with the uh, bonefish, they, ta they have such a fast, hard run that I've actually had some uh, uh, failure in other brands in the drag system. And uh, the beauty of this uh, non-corrosive material and the torque particularly is that you have no worry about corrosion, scratching, abrasion, that kind of thing. This is an aerospace uh, uh, similar to a, like a Teflon, mm -hmm. but a much harder face. So is it completely enclosed? Yes, yep, completely sealed up. It's really highly important. Yeah. And then all of Galvin's reels are large arbor, correct? Yes. Yeah. Because okay. I've had some questions on whether they come standard or and large arbor, but they are all large arbor. Yeah, we used to do a narrow in uh, the uh, some of the others, but um, the large arbor just allows you to pick so much line up so much faster, and it has a tendency to feed off better. It doesn't uh, cross and or tangle. Mm -hmm coming off the right and if you look at the sculpt you can see it really on the silver one but you can see how 
when you look at the, it almost looks like a T or a Y in here. Mm -hmm. And this actually picks the line up as you reel and centers it. So all the line stays in uh, good running order when it comes back off the reel. So those big hot fish around here in the Hawaii. So what's the price range for something like these? Um, this, the uh, Rush and the Rush Light go from 200 up to $370, depending on the size. Then your um, Torx go from 320 to 500 in the standard Torx. Then up in the blue waters, you go six, seven, and eight hundred. And then the spokes, because of that extra machining, are a little more expensive, and they start at three seventy and go to four thirty. So your average good reel price is what they go for. Right, right. And reels t today, <laughs> that's a very crowded market. There's there's some pretty inexpensive ones, and there's some very expensive ones, but. We find being more in that middle range and making a good day in, day out quality product that uh, uh, we have a very good following with the Galvin customers. Well, there you have it. All you need to know about Galvin Reels. If you have any questions or if you would like to purchase, you can reach us at www.anglershabitat.com. We have a live chat feature on there, which is probably your quickest way to get a hold of us. Um, I guess that's basically it. Thank you. Thanks.